Hey, great to have you. Welcome. It's the Joe Pag Show. 1-800-383-9624. It is quite literally um, a matter of young people doing what I did when I was young. I wanted to be the starting catcher for the New York Yankees. So I watched everything Thurman Munson did. And I wanted to be Thurman Munson or Rick Cerrone or any number of catchers that caught for the New York Yankees. I wanted to do that. And I would see my favorite baseball players, whether it be Reggie Jackson or uh, Greg Nettles, or I I can name the entire late 70s New York Yankees teams because I idolized these guys. I mean, I wanted to be like them. Um, So I wanted to emulate what they did. If they got up to bat and did their arms a certain way or wore a certain glove or did whatever they did, um, you would want to be like them. Kaepernick, I don't think, is smart enough nor deep enough to understand that what he's doing is going to rub rub off on kids. And he also probably thinks, boy, this is great. These kids are taking a knee when they they see, you know, a right or a wrong that needs to be righted or or some sort of injustice. Listen, I, I don't use racial terms, derogatory racial terms. It's not who I am, not how I live. I actually, the, the, the people who attack me tend to be black on, on Twitter because they don't get it. And I'll call them brother or or my man. And I'm not your man. I'm not your brother. <laughs> yes, you are. You're my brother in this human experience. And if you don't live that way, then you don't get why I do. Um, we were, we're in a situation where if I would have heard when I was going to Atlantic High School or Santa Luis's High School, if I would have heard in the uh, in the locker room somebody using that sort of race speech, I would I would tell them to stop, and if that didn't get it done, I would have the people that were that were affected by it go talk to the coach. If the coach didn't stop it, then you do something. But you don't do something like dishonor the flag or dishonor the national anthem. That doesn't make sense. And Kaepernick, I don't think, is smart enough to realize that his protest, A, is just making a mockery of the league that pays him so much, making a mockery of the fans that, well, that's really why he gets paid, because the fans pay the money and buy the shirts and everything else. Um, making a mockery of his own talents that he worked so hard to hone, and he is setting a disgusting example for young people. Instead of that young man going to the coach and saying, hey, coach, I heard somebody drop the N-word, and it really you know, adversely affected me, or you know, that's not the kind of team I want to play for, and allowing the coach to do the right thing, the proper channels, the proper steps to take care of the discipline, instead he, he hits a knee during the national anthem. So if anybody's bothered by anything, they have to hit a knee and somehow desecrate the national anthem or the flag or what it stands for. And what it stands for is what Martin Luther King Jr. wanted. So many times these people that I argue with on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, or even some that call the show, they want to bring up Muhammad Ali. Was Muhammad Ali this and Vietnam that and the other thing? Muhammad Ali set up his own memorial. He planned it before he died. And at that memorial, proudly... Hanging was the American flag. Period. He was hyper-American. He loved this country and the opportunities he was afforded by this country. He also didn't love uh, the oppression that had gone on in this country. Nor did he love the Vietnam War. Nor did he love the policies that treated him differently because of his skin color. And, And although I disagree with so many wonderful Americans, 58, 59 thousands of them dying, going to Vietnam. I disagreed with him saying, I'm not going. I agreed with him wanting to right wrongs. And he loved the country that allowed him to do that. Because ironically, had he been North Vietnamese and had he taken a stand saying, I'm not going to fight, they'd have killed him on the spot. Not in this great land. In this great land, he had that right. And the Supreme Court, although it was going to vote against him, ended up voting for him, saying he does, in fact, have that right. So when you cite Martin Luther King, who actually lived the way I live, and you cite Muhammad Ali, who actually loved that flag and wrapped himself around it during his life and his career, and when you cite all these other folks that you think that you somehow have some great insight into because of your skin tone, you, you don't come off as somebody who's actually paid any attention. In fact, you come off as ignorant. And you are teaching young people that the only way you can get what you want is to protest, hit a knee, and to basically, figuratively spit on the, the American flag in the American way. That's why what Davos uh, Sweetie had to say yesterday made a lot of sense. So your thoughts about young people seeing it now? 
and young people reacting to it. And by the way, after the bottom of the hour, we're going to have a story. Carrie's got a story about, uh, it's, it's in, in California, right? Right, uh-huh. A California school student who had, it's a, it's a girl, I think it's a girl. Yes. Had sir. her grade lowered because she refuses to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And everybody's freaking out. We're going to talk about that at the bottom of the hour. We'll also talk about, are we really giving the internet away? Is that really what we're doing? We'll talk about that as well. First, I've got to go to the phone lines. A lot of people want to be heard on this. Let me say hello and welcome to Roger, who is in Pendleton, Oregon on KUMA. Hi, Roger. What's going on? Hi. You know, this uh, Kaepernick thing is getting old. Why don't you go eat some almond roca? You're starting to sound like the little blind lady with a kid on the corner. So before you hang up, because you're probably a big, you know, phone call badass, I don't know what the reference meant. What did you say? Why don't I go eat some what? I, pu- I pulled it out. Oh, oh, Carrie, did I just hang up on that guy? That's so weird. Yeah. That is so odd. Oh, we lost is the line. Bizarre. That is so that odd happened? that we lost no. the line. You know what I love about, about stuff like that? <laughs> what? Is I made him hold for like 15 minutes, and then he still sounded like an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, he to really, me, really did. That, to me, that's that's my sort of just desserts for him. <laughs> what did he want me to chew on? A, an almond rope or something? I don't know. Do you, does anybody know. know? Chris, you know? Mm. Anybody? Polo, almond rope? Karina, no? I, I don't know. God bless you, though, uh, buddy. Mm. Uh, Mike is in San Antonio. Hi, Mike. What's going on? Uh, you know, I just got to tell you first, I agree with everything you're saying. I, I mean, I agree 100% with this whole Colin Kaepernick thing. However, yeah. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard you before talk about with the shootings, and we're not going to mention this guy's name because all he wants is the publicity and right. the notoriety and all that. Right. I got to tell you, you're doing the same thing with Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. You're bringing it up every day for the past week or so, whatever. Yeah. It's never going to die if you keep talking about it. Let it go. Well, Mike, like a, a couple of things kid. are important. I hear what you're saying, and I can appreciate what you're saying. Um, and your phone's really bad, so you can listen on the radio. A um, couple of things are important. Number one, Colin Kaepernick is not a mass murderer, and that's who I've decided. He's not a terrorist. So I, uh, that's who I decide not to publicize because it gives them the notoriety they wanted. Um, and I've advanced the story every day, although you guys probably would be great producers of the show. I think that maybe we'll, we should hire Mike and what was the other guy's name? Ralph? Mm, something like that? Yeah, you uh, think so? Billy Bob? Something like that. Uh, have uh-huh. them produce the show. But see, I advance it because now we've got Literally, we have high school athletes thinking that they have to take a knee during the Star-Spangled Banner to prove some sort of a point. And I'm going to keep on hitting this as long as there's a new angle and there's a new tangent. That's kind of what I do. Um, The fact is, this is not only not working the way he wanted. It's blowing up in his face. But I truly believe he's not smart enough to know it. 1-800-383-9624. After the bottom of the hour, we're going to go and we'll shift now. Still the flag... But this time it's not the national anthem. Um, Still somebody um, disgracing it, but not by kneeling on a football field. A a high school student in California had her grade hurt, had it lowered, because she refused to listen to the teacher or the administrator say, you must stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Of course, there are people saying she has the right to not stand. It's an interesting story when we come back. 1-800-383-9624, JoePags.com.